business brief, well, wildfires are a growing threat to the Western United States. Uh, wildfires are a growing threat to the property owners, businesses, uh, human life, natural habitats in the Western United States. In 2020, across the U.S., wildfires resulted in over $21.9 billion in property damage. Eight of the the costliest wildfires have taken place in the last 18 in the last eight years. Issues, uh, climate change, a government mismanagement of forest has increased risk of wildfires, and non-governmental organization also uh, contribute to the increased risk of wildfires. In New Mexico, under climate change, uh, the most recent wildfires, the Calf Canyon and Hermit Peak. Wildfires was the largest in the state's recorded history. The fire burned from April. It was not fully contained um, in July 2022. Resulted in over uh, 344,000 acres burned, over $135 million spent for firefighting operations. Over 1,500 houses and structures, structures were destroyed. Uh, 2, 000, over 2,000 families were displaced, which uh, resulted in the cost of $612,000 which was approved from FEMA funding. It also um, resulted in 15,000 residents being evacuated, uh, the loss of homesteads, uh, disruption of family businesses, and business, other businesses as well. It affected uh, isolated Hispanic communities. Uh, the air quality was decreased in the state of New Mexico as well as Oklahoma. And uh, the wildfires not only affect New Mexico, it also affects all of the United States uh, the Western United States resulting uh, from the climate change and global warming. There are fires in the Yosemite National Park that is currently uh, being fought and being contained as of today. Uh, under the government mismanagement of forest, um, it has increased the, uh, the risk of wildlife. This is uh, due to the, uh, the government um, reducing uh, methods such as tree thinning to protect uh, the Mexican spotted owl habitats as well as other endangered species. Under uh, non-government organizations, they also increase, to increase the risk of wildfires by advocating for um, advocating to protect uh, uh, the biodiversities that include endangered species such as the, uh, the, the Mexican spotted owl and other endangered species throughout um, the southwest of the United States. A background. Over the last 70 years, businesses conducted operations with little concern for the environment, which resulted in um, severe side effects over time. Uh, these businesses in the past, they, had, uh, they used all sorts of methods, uh, including coal that emit uh, carbon emissions, they also use oil and other natural resources for their production. And some of these productions are still going strong, such as uh, using oil. The, uh, the side effects that resulted were um, global warming and, and uh, an increased uh, climate change. This increased temperature has increased uh, the overall Western United States uh, uh, drought period. It also has increased the, the the temperature, the, te the longer temperatures have uh, continuously dried out the trees. Um, and there is a, uh, there's a threat to uh, the biodiversity of the forest. Uh, when a wildfire goes off, there are carbon emissions that are released. Uh, in addition, there's deforestation, which leads to increased flooding and the removal of top soil. Uh, tree thinning operations were used since the 1960s through the 1990s in the southwest. These operations reduced the debris, removed undesirable trees, and maintained density. Unfortunately, they were drastically reduced in 1992 due to the threat of disturbing endangered species like the Mexican spotted owl, who made its uh, habitat throughout the southwest. The uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife, in accordance with the Endangered Species Act, was responsible for this. These protections increased the population of the Mexican spotted owl, however, also led to the increase in the density of trees, debris, and other 
factors that increase the likelihood of wild fires. Uh, one of these factors was the uh, U.S. Forest Service. Uh, they decided to uh, collect over 800 acres of debris, and uh, over the over the last three years, and then conduct a control burn. Uh, this resulted in the uh, Calf Canyon and Hermit Peak fires, which are the largest and recorded in New Mexico history. Uh, solutions. Uh, the, the best solutions for uh, decreasing the likelihood of wildfires is to decrease uh, global warming and uh, slow down climate change. This can only be achieved through uh, businesses switching to carbon-free emissions to reduce the uh, global warming and slow climate change. Uh, some businesses such as Patagonia, Apple, and others are committed to reducing emissions. Upsides to this include, uh, include switching to carbon-free emissions helps the companies reduce their own power consumption as well increases innovation to develop cheaper and alternative methods to produce. More and more consumers are also willing to buy products from businesses who use these methods and protect the environment. Uh, the downsides include the increased initial cost of implementing the renewable energy sources for carbon-free emission. There's also the uh, increased cost of investing into ways to reduce the cost of production. Some businesses find switching unnecessary and have no concern for the environment. Another solution is vehicles owners have to switch from gas to electric vehicles. Uh, upsides, electric vehicles are carbon free. They, uh, the electric vehicles fuel costs less than the price of gas. Well, the reason why it costs less is uh, gas is a finite resource and as the resources being um, produced there's increased uh, cost of production which results in consumers paying more for gas uh, currently we are paying uh, 459 across the nation and um, it also increases the inflation as well uh, these are based on vehicles or companies using vehicles having to pay for the fuel and again it the cost is transferred to the cons to the consumers uh, electric bow vehicles they do not rely on um, the finite natural resources downsides uh, Electrical vehicles are costly, the batteries degrade over time, and they require mining of rare mineral earth metals. Another solution um, for the short, ter short term is uh, tree thinning operations and control burns. The upside is tree thinning helps reduce debris and undesired trees, as well as controlling the density of the trees and forests. A uh, control burn reduces the, uh, the debris. Tree thinning also allows us um, small businesses to provide provide jobs to the local communities, and uh, it, it will also result in the in working with the government to deregulate certain um, programs that protect uh, endangered species. Uh, the downsides, although there is a reduction of, uh, although there will be a reduction of threatened species habitats, and uh, this will affect biodiversity. Uh, wildfires will, f will affect them even more. So control burns also can result in uh, wildfires if mismanaged, such as the, uh, the Calf Canyon and the Hermit Peak, which they allowed debris to uh, build over three years, and eventually this resulted in 344,000 um, acres of forest being burnt. An alternative solution is um, world government leaders and nations work together to establish laws that require businesses to use green energy and switch to carbon-free ways to produce their products. The upsides is reduce, reducing carbon emissions, reducing 
uh, the global warming and slowing climate change will positively infect, in, in, impact the uh, wildfires and reduce them. The downside is that this requires uh, cooperation in the current environment where nations cannot agree. Nations like China and other nations are the biggest contributors of global warming with their emissions. Uh, these in the entities will not submit to any oversight. Uh, my thoughts, the only way we can reduce uh, wildfires is through cooperation of the world. Government entities, entities have to work together. There has to be cooperation to in place the infrastructure to reduce emissions and reduce global warming. Uh, we also have to think about um, establishing laws here in the United States where people are forced to uh, buy uh, cars that are carbon emission, but, that, but it should be gradually um, implemented over time. There should be a time when we, uh, you know, like in 2055, everybody has to have an electric vehicle. Maybe that could be a, a, a um, starting point. Unfortunately, our nation is split with one faction advocating for change, the other advocating um, for depending on natural resources. Uh, I believe this, is, this approach will be a mistake because natural resources are finite resources. Uh, businesses also must have taken into consideration and must start finding ways to reduce uh, carbon emissions to reduce their footprint. They must work with government entities as well.